Hey everyone, welcome to The Restaurant Show and I have Mike Fekete. He is the owner of the new hotspot on the island, Java Burrito. Yes, is that ma'am. Correct? That is correct. And that's the logo, that's the hat right yeah, up there. Right there. All right. <laughs> Java Burrito Company. Good deal. Now, Mike, tell me about where Java Burrito is because it is, how new is it? It's really new. This is the start of our third week. Wow. Yeah. So you're awake right yeah. now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling a lot of hours, uh, but I'm having a good time. We're, it's exciting though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very exciting. Yeah, very exciting. good. And just by the looks of the food here, it smells delicious. It looks fresh. It looks yeah. fantastic. It's all fresh. All fresh, made right in front of you. It's delicious. And this, and your big thing, now, Java Burrito, tell me, the, there's two parts to it. Mm -hmm. um, what are the two concepts that you have in, in there? Well, the first part is Java. So mm -hmm. we have a uh, specialty coffee bar that you can go up to for and breakfast. These are, and these are all of your coffees here that you yes, do? Yes, those are the coffees. We have um, house roast, dark roast, uh, decaf. Right. Some blends. But now I see here, this is not a regular coffee here yeah. that you have. <laughs> that would be one <laughs> of the This is deliciousness, yeah. yes. And what is this one? Uh, that is a raspberry chocolate mocha latte. Oh, wow, I would yes. be in. I'd be like, I'll take one with an extra shot yeah. of espresso. I get three or four to start. This yes. Morning, so. <laughs> um, now, something cool that you told me about earlier when we were talking about it was, okay, the other part of, the, the biggest part of the restaurant is that you are very farm to table. Yes. Right? Exactly. Yes, we try to source as much of our produce and stuff as local as possible. And one of the things you were saying is that you don't your sweeteners. Yeah, it's are, all natural cane sugar and no high fru high fructose corn syrup. That is awesome yeah. because a lot of times that's the thing that makes you crash after a while. Exactly. And all this those will keep you going. Yeah, sure. this will just keep you going and it's natural. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. Um okay, but the other part of Java burrito is mm -hmm. the Mexican grill part. Yes. And we're going to talk about that right mm -hmm. now and then I get to eat some of it. <laughs> okay. So the tagline is burritos, bowls, and tacos. Yes. Right? And salads. And salads. It's and salads too. To the bowl. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, because the bowls could either be a cold salad mm -hmm. or with a lot of great toppings it's on it. It's pretty much the same as this, just with lettuce in the bottom. And okay. you pile everything on top. Tell me a little bit about what the, I mean, we'll just jump to this one. <laughs> what is this? This looks awesome. Yeah, that is the bowl. Okay. And it's pretty much the exact same thing as a burrito, but just without the wrap. So if someone is carb conscious yeah, or absolutely. gluten free or something like that, but they, they just can pick a bowl. That part yeah, well, they yeah. just want to skip it. I, I go between the two. So. Yeah, and some people like they like honestly, my husband would order the burrito in a second, mm. but I would get this because I just don't want to. It, sometimes it gets a little bit crazy, mm -hmm. but you know, and messy is good. Messy is good. It's I, not messy. Yeah, it ain't good. I know, right? <laughs> but that's just that's just it. Is it? I can, different people can go in there because they have different ways they like to eat, mm -hmm. and this is a great way. Now, what do we have in here? Because everything looks so good. I pretty much put almost everything in there. Okay. We've got uh, rice in the bottom. It's a cilantro lime rice. Uh -huh. We have brown and white rice, depending on what you like. And you get to pick. You get because to again, pick. Because again, this is, this is not sit down, well, the waitress comes over. You get to actually see everything in front mm -hmm. of you, right? Yeah, everything's cooked right in front of you, and then all the food's laid out right in front of you, so you just go right to the line. And you just pick. And you say, I want this, that, this, that, and you I just kind of make it. your own burrito bowl or taco. But it's yours. It's not just uh, off the menu. It is your specific. Right. Now, do you have any suggestions? Like, obviously, you must, oh, right now, you must be having some, like, things that are really popular, obviously. Uh, I mean, you, <laughs> can't, you can't go wrong. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's yours. It's, you exactly. Know? Exactly. If, you, if someone didn't put enough on there, just say, hey, can I get a can little I, more of that? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so this one, you started with the cilantro rice mm -hmm. on the bottom, and then what else do you have on there? Uh, we have grilled veggies yes, that we have. We saute right it real quick, a little bit of olive oil and oh some gosh. oregano. And, and black beans. Yeah, we got black beans and pinto beans. And and you can get both, you can get your yeah, choice, you can get whichever. Yeah, half and half. Get Is it like. spicy? Because a lot of people, you well, know. Well, you they, can spice it up. We okay. try to keep, um, you know, most of the meats and everything kind of in a medium. Right, right. And then if you want to spice it up a little bit, you can get yeah. this. This is a fresh arbol uh, hot salsa. Oh my gosh. And I love this it. is about in between the pico and um, the arbol. This is a fresh tomatillo. I love it. Now, these, so these are the sauces that you can put on there. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you can get a little bit of every one, too. You don't have to go with just one. So you kind of, I'll take a little of that, a little of this. And so all of this, so, uh, mm -hmm. and then of course you have the uh, corn salsa. Mm -hmm. the Fresh beautiful... off the cob. We just oh, you it, leave it, cut it off, saute it. That's give a nice pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah, we do it the right way. That's, I love it because really all of, and I was commenting earlier that the tomatoes in this pico are gorgeous. And yeah. where do you get those from? That's from uh, Pooler, Georgia. We get it from Tierra Verde Farms. I love it. So really, awesome. you really are so doing, fresh. The, you really doing the farm to table. Okay, before we start running out of time, let's go to these tacos really quick because right. these look <laughs> awesome. These are my kind of tacos. Yeah, those are chicken tacos and then uh, we have okay, a little so bit of fresh jalapeno on that one too. Love it. Uh, I like those better than the pickled. Oh yeah. Some people are different, but for me, I feel like those really give it a nice kick and crunch. Yes, gotta to keep it. it fresh. Okay, and then so this one is at this end is what? 
Is uh, they're all chicken tacos. Okay, so um, just different ways of yeah, getting them. Yeah, just different ways of getting them. I everything. love it. So we got chicken, we got sour cream, we've got a fresh grated uh, Monterey Jack and sharp cheddar cheese. And that's what the cheese is. Oh, yeah, the that, cheese. That looks good. And I like how it's thin, And it's got too. a little bit of all the sauces on there. I well. love it. Okay, now we're going to get into the Big Mama Jamma. Yes, this guy <laughs> right here. <laughs> I love It's heavy. <laughs> it seriously is like, how, that's like, Eight pounds. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a, a lot small of weight. It will definitely should fill you up. If not, come talk to me and I'll make sure yeah, you get. We'll what make you need. sure. Okay, so I'm gonna unwrap this baby now. Tell me with yeah. the burritos. Um, is there one size in the burritos? Do you? Uh, well, we have two different burritos. We have a flour burrito and we also have a honey wheat. And, oh. Uh, we like to, you know, kind of have fun with yeah. the experiment. So I'm thinking maybe we might do a spin. It's really whatever the customers want. I so. love it. Do you know? Right now, my husband's like, seriously, you're gonna eat that burrito? <laughs> yes, I'm going to. Now, yeah. with this, you get chips with it? What? Uh, no, chips are on the side. Okay, uh, so you, you can get chips, you can get salsa, and chips, chips and guac. Chips get very tempting. Yes. I know. And this is your homemade guac right there. Look yes. how good that is, guys. It's, it's that wonderful. is awesome. Okay. And what is in this burrito that I'm about? to eat. <laughs> <laughs> that is a uh, braised pork burrito and what? it's got a pretty much almost all this stuff in there as well. Okay, real quick, go while I bite into this. Pizza. What is what are the different meats then that you do have cuz I know that you do that farm to table mm -hmm. also. Well, uh, we get the braised pork and we get that from uh, Keegan Phylon Farms that's in mm. Walterboro, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the grilled uh, chicken, which is the grilled chicken, the pork and the steak all get uh, marinated and cooked in our adobo, it's house made. It takes about so, four to six hours to cook down. And it's I love it. I love it. Now, so real quick, where are you guys located? Uh, we are in Wexford Shops, the shops at Wexford, okay, just right. to the right of Subway and Teague. So okay. we're kind of back in the corner there. Right there in the corner, but it's very easy to find. And then also remember, they do have a kids menu there. Um, and what are your hours of operation? 7.30 to 8, so we do three he days. He really doesn't us. sleep at all. But um, thank you so much for coming on. I'm going to oh, go thank ahead you and so much. Um, take this with me. And we will I be back. And do you? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Java Burrito, check them out, whether it is coffee, the Mexican grill, um, or just a great atmosphere, and it's a new hot spot on the island. Make sure you check them out. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate thank it. Thank you very much.